Hello, I'm CL Taylor and I'm the author of seven psychological thrillers and now two young adult thrillers. My first young adult thriller was The Treatment and I'm going to read from my second one, The Island, which is out on the 21st of January 2021. Here's the blurb from the back. Welcome to the island where your worst fears are about to come true. It was supposed to be the perfect holiday, a week-long trip for six teenage friends on a remote tropical island. But when their guide dies of a stroke leaving them stranded, the trip of a lifetime turns into a nightmare. Because someone on the island knows each of the group's worst fears, and one by one, they're becoming a reality. Seven days in paradise, a deadly secret. Who will make it off the island alive? The book's told from two points of view, Danny and Jesse. And I'm going to read uh, one of Jesse's chapters. My foot catches in something, a tree root or a vine, and I pitch forward to the brown green jungle floor rising up to meet me. I land heavily and all the air is knocked from my lungs. I can hear Josh and Jack behind me, shouting and swearing and striking at plants as they crash through the jungle. Josh managed to grab the back of my t-shirt as I turned to run, but I hit out at him, my fist connecting with his cheekbone. My flip-flops slid and slipped as I ran across the sand to the jungle, so I kicked them off, not caring what I stood on as I swiped at banana plants and vines, trying to get away. Now. As I scrabble to my knees, the palms of my hands throbbing, I ris risk a glimpse behind me. There's a flash of tan skin about ten metres away, incongruous against so much green. The boys have gone quiet. They're moving slowly and quietly between the trees. They're listening, trying to work out where I am. I crouch low tucking myself behind a huge fern and try to slow my racing thoughts. Is that why they came out to the island? To get revenge for what I did at the poolside? No one's ever stared at me with so much hate in their eyes as Josh did right now. I glance left and right, looking for something, anything I can use as a weapon, but there's two of them and one of me. There's no way I could fight them both off. If they can't find me, they'll have to give up and go back to the beach. But what then? If they get back in their boat and drive round the island, they'll spot our camp. Even without the fire burning brightly, they'll see our shelters and the mess of our belongings. I can't just hide. I need to warn the others. Jeffers will know what to do. Keeping low. I creep onwards, stepping as lightly as I can on the rough jungle floor. Frightened lizards skitter away, hiding on flat green leaves the size of my head. I can't hear Jack and Josh crashing around behind me, and the silence is unnerving. They could be close. So close that at any second a hand could shoot out from between the bushes and grab me. As I glance behind me, one of the trees sways violently to the left, and my heart thunders in my chest. Heart pounding, legs quivering, I raise myself up to full height. I'm just going to have to run for it. A bird squawks to my right, a shrill, trilling warning sign. A green metallic beetle scurries across a leaf, and I lunge forwards. But someone grabs my ankle. Deep male laughter rings out as my leg is yanked hard and I tumble to the ground.